Welcome back to Budget Rebuilds. We're getting back to bikes today. We have a few more projects. We'll go ahead and start with this one. This one doesn't have much damage. It's pretty much just limited to the inner fairing and the brackets, and it's got a small dent in the tank. So I'm just gonna do this in one video. Uh, we already ordered an inner fairing for it and brackets and stuff, so I'm just gonna knock it out, get it cleaned up, and get it running and driving, and post it for sale. So if you see the video, it is probably still for sale. Go ahead and send us an email and let us know. But we're just going to go ahead and start knocking this thing out and get the old inner off of it. And this one has an aftermarket stereo in it that's destroyed. I have several leftover factory radios, so I'm just gonna do, a, do away with all this aftermarket stuff on this one and put us in a, uh, one of my leftover factory radios. I guess I'll go ahead and start taking off my bearing bracket bolts. What's left of them? I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clutch all the way in so we can get the cable off of it. Alright, we'll get all these gauges unplugged. ahead and cut slit my fairing so the cables will come out because the new fairing is the Chinese one and it doesn't have a hole for your throttle cables so that doesn't get used anyway That's pretty well mangled. <laughs> All right, we've gone ahead and transferred over our old gauges onto our new uh, interfering. 
and uh, we bought some new speakers for it and I had a, an older radio laying around so we popped that in there. I hope it still works. And we'll go ahead and slide that interfering on. And I just get to start plugging all this stuff in. And they cut the wires on the for the old speaker wire, so let me find some terminal ends to make this work real quick. I said we put a battery in it and see if it runs before we do anything else. So this is no 7 bike with security, so I know it's not gonna start. We have to go ahead and go through our process where we switch it over to a turn signal module instead of a turn signal security module and then learn it to the bike. Um, I've done that in the past video. You can just look through our videos. So we're not gonna like go through that on this one. And then uh, we'll try to start it, but we gotta leave it on the charger. Cause you have to leave the ignition on for like 30 minutes while you do it. All right, so we went ahead and got the outer fairing bolted on, get everything buttoned up, put our windshield back on it and our new speakers, cleaned the auction dust off of it and bolted the seat back on it. Um, so this will be the first start. I'm, uh, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't start. It's only got 30,000 miles on it. Thank you.